Hi, this is Craig Dellinger with review of the Thermarest NeoAir X Lite for ProLightGear.com. I just finished reviewing the NeoAir X Therm, which we gave our Premium Performance Award to. Um, now I'm going to talk about the X Lite and just tell you why we gave our award to this one. But you know, this is also an excellent pad, and we suggest this pad to people who are looking for a very lightweight three-season pad. This pad for just a little bit more money and a let's see, three more ounces is going to be a uh, pad that you can use in a much broader range of situations in terms of temperature ranges. Um, but let's go through the NeoAir x Lite from Thermarest. This is what the pad looks like uh, rolled up. It does come with the stuff sack, but I, I've got it out of the stuff sack right now just so you can see how small this pad gets. Um, here's a clipboard, uh, you know, s smaller than a Nalgene. And it weighs in at 12 ounces for the 72 inch length. Um, I have put all the stats for all the pads that we're talking about here together on an article that I wrote and have published over at Prolac here. I'll put a link in the description below if you're viewing this over at YouTube. Um, and so please check that out. I'll have all the stats uh, and I'll have links to all the uh, videos and in-depth reviews of each one of these products. Um, so some of the things to point out. Once again, just like on the Xtherm, this is using the slightly siliconized fabric so it has a slight tackiness to it. I find that beneficial so I don't slip off the pad as easily at night. Um, what some people call a, uh, uh, a limitation of the pad or a negative for the pad where it's using the horizontal baffles and it doesn't have uh, that strong uh, baffle on the outside that's oversized to help create a yield like the X-Pad and the Big Agnes pads have. Um, I found, if you watch our other video, I'm repeating myself, but I found that once I get past the point of no return on these pads, because they're so tall and they have that strong outside baffle, I'm off the pad and I wake up cold because my pad's no longer underneath me. I prefer this style better. Horizontal baffles versus vertical baffles versus the omnidirectional baffle design that Big Negus is using in this pad. Really that comes down to personal preference. I hopped on all these. Nick hopped on these. Shane hopped on them. Nina hopped on them. Christy hopped on them, etc. And we just couldn't get strong consensus, or in some cases could even tell that there was much difference. The only thing we really noticed is that on the X-Pad uh, Sinmat UL7 versus the uh, down mat light, the baffles on this go all the way through. This has like an I-beam construction. We found this pad to be far more stable than this pad. So getting back to this pad, um, it comes in at $160 versus $190 for the x -Cern. so this is less expensive. It's lighter weight, it comes in at uh, 12 ounces versus 15 ounces. Remember we're talking the 72 inch uh, size here. Um, but it has a lower R value. R value on the x Lite is 3.2, R value on the x -Cern is 5.7. This is still using their triangular, uh, what do they call it, their triangular core matrix design inside. So I'll give you a cutaway of what the cross section of this looks like. And uh, I'll go into some of the uh, physical properties that are happening inside these pads. Uh, once again, to, uh, the reason you use a pad is number one for comfort, number two for, uh, uh, to keep you warm. Uh, to keep you warm, what you want to do is create as much of a dead airspace be between yourself and the cold ground that you're sleeping on. Um, if you don't do any sort of internal baffling or put insulation inside the pad to prevent air currents from happening, you're, you're not going to get much of an increase in, uh, in warmth just from an inflatable air pad. That's why you don't just take a pool toy with you, for example. So this is a 4-inch thick pad but has only an R1.5 value. This is a 2.5-inch pad and has an R3.2. This is still a 2.5-inch pad but has an R value of 5.7. So what happens, I need to explain the concept of a thermal gradient here. Uh, the bottom of the pad is going, to get, going against the uh, floor of the tent or the floor of your bivy where it's cold. The top of your pad is going up against the bottom of your sleeping bag. Your body is inside that sleeping bag, so the top of this pad is going to be in contact with a warmer object than the bottom of the pad. That difference and the uh, distance between those two uh, surfaces is your thermal gradient. The greater the thermal gradient, the uh, more you have to try and combat convective currents. Air wants to move from cold areas to warm areas. When, air, when cold air comes in contact with warm air, the cold air is trying to cool down the warm air, the warm air is trying to expend energy to warm up the cold air. Um, you're getting heat loss when that happens. 
inside this, instead of these uh, 1.5 inch baffles, inside this are a bunch of little triangular baffles. They make the distance from the cold, from the bottom of that baffle to the top of that baffle much smaller. They really do an excellent job reducing uh, uh, air current or convective current. This, bag, or this sleeping pad, the double Z from Big Agnes, suffers from having nothing in place to prevent convective currents. That's why it has only an R1.5 value. And that means it's doing very little for you in warmth. This is uh, primarily for comfort only, and it's an inexpensive pad at $80. Um, so why does this pad not have as high of an R value as the Xtherm? I have to assume it's because it's not using as much of their reflective technology, and that they call their uh, reflective thermocapture. And what's going on is they're using a, a, a silver mylar material, uh, same thing that you would find in like an emergency bag, uh, an emergency blanket I should say, or a space blanket, where your body emits uh, heat in terms of infrared rays. And by putting a radiant barrier in there, or a radiant reflector, you can bounce that energy, that heat, back off you, back into your body. In this one, after five minutes of laying on it, you can really feel the heat radiating back from the pad into you. You don't notice it quite as much in this. So I'm thinking these things have a similar physical structure in terms of the baffle design. This one just uses less of that uh, uh, radiant reflective barrier in it. Um, so, let's talk about where these things are made, because there is some confusion on that. Most of the, of the fast and light, you know, Neoware pads from Thermarest, if you're buying them in the United States, they're going to be made in the United States. If you're buying them in Europe, they're probably going to be made in Ireland. This one, we happen to know, it says made in Ireland, whereas these others say made in the USA. Thermarest is running two factories, one in Ireland and one in the United States. I think what happens occasionally is if they run out of supply, in the US, they may ship some of them from Ireland over and perhaps vice versa. So we say made in the United States, but you may occasionally find one that's made in Ireland. Thermarest says, hey, they're, they're identical factories, running the same equipment, producing identical quality uh, uh, products. Let's talk warranty real quick, limited lifetime warranty. I did look at our warranty database at Prolica because we sold a lot of these Thermarest pads. And I have no problems to report in terms of an unusually high return rate. We were actually concerned with the uh, durability of these uh, Thermarest Neoware pads because they're made you know, out of pretty thin materials, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. And if you do happen to puncture one, I did put up a video on how to quickly repair them using tenacious tape. So that wraps up our review. Please check out the article that we wrote. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. We're happy to answer the phone and talk with you guys about this. You can reach us at area code 406. 582-0508 or send us an email to info at prolightgear.com. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. I'm going to finish doing reviews for, rest, for the rest of these sleeping pads, so uh, please check those out as well. Thanks for watching.